What is going on guys? Thank you so much for tuning into the video. Hope you guys are having a good one. And today I wanted to bring you this video because one of the most frequently asked questions in my streams is how do I get the best quality out of OBS? Um, you know, how do I stream at 1080p 60 frames per second or 720p 60 frames per second? Um, and I wanted to bring this video to, to teach you guys. I know there's a lot of videos out there teaching this, but I feel like I've acquired a lot of knowledge in the past year by tweaking my own settings, by watching a lot of YouTube videos, and from upgrading my PC to be, you know, from really crappy to a high-end PC. Um, so I thought I'd teach you guys today. Um, this is just personal preference. If you like my streams, you can go back and watch my streams and see the quality there. If you think that quality is great, then I recommend you just copy these settings. Um, I'm not going to be teaching you how to stream, just how to get the quality. Uh, but first, before we get started, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Wiggy Dom. Wiggydom is someone on YouTube, youtube.com slash Wiggydom. His link will be in the description. He is an amazing dude. He um, has made my two, my past two overlays for me. And he's he's just an awesome, very kind, and, and awesome, very talented YouTuber. So if you wouldn't mind, please go drop him a sub. Like I said, link is in the, in the description. Um, and yeah, I would really appreciate it. Tell him Solly sent you. So yeah, let's get started. Now, when you open up OBS Studio, you're going to be brought to this screen. Um, and you're going to want to go to settings. Now, your OBS might look a little different. Your OBS might look like this. To change this, if you want, I personally don't like this theme. I think it's really harsh on my eyes, especially at night. Um, you're going to want to go to general. And uh, under theme, you're going to want to go to dark. And that's how you change that. Everything else in general can be changed, but it won't affect the quality of your streams. So uh, maybe do this on, in another time. But um, yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to skip over stream and click on output. Now, some things are grayed out for me right now. That's just because I'm recording currently. So uh, for you, all of these should be clickable. But output mode should be set to advanced at the top. And then you'll be brought down here and you'll see audio tracks, encoder, rescale output, and everything else. Uh, to start with audio track, this is basically, I, I don't really mess with this. I do know that you can split your streams and recordings into audio tracks, meaning if you have your video game, your voice, or Spotify open, you can split those audio tracks so that later on they're different layers and, and you can change them any way you'd like. Uh, but for right now, I literally keep my audio track just on one and, and it's done the job for me so far. Now, your encoder, you're going to see two options. You're going to see X264, or you'll see another option that looks like this. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, it should say NVENC H.264. Um, basically, what I recently found out was that if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I highly recommend you, you click this for your encoder. It will take such a load off of your uh, CPU, um, and you'll be able to stream higher quality, in my opinion, and you won't put such a strain on your CPU. But... I am going to be showing both settings, so for people with an NVIDIA graphics card or with just a regular graphics card, I will show you both settings. I used to stream on X264 all the time, I just recently switched to this encoder, so don't worry about it, it's not a huge difference, it's just if you have this option, I highly recommend it. But I'm going to run you through both settings, So, but first we're going to start with X264. So when you switch this to X264, a different list of options are going to come up. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go down here, and for people with an NVIDIA graphics card, this applies to you too right here. So you're rescale output is basically what you're going to be streaming at but you there's something else that you need to do so if you're going to be streaming at 1920 by 1080 or 18 uh, 1080 by 720 you are also going to need to come here into video and you're going to want to make sure your output scaled resolution is set to the same thing as your rescale output you need these two to match as for your base canvas resolution, that basically means what your monitor is seeing. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to your desktop and right click and click display settings. And you're going to scroll down and just see what your resolution is on your monitor. Most people have a 1920 by 1080, but if yours is different, just make sure it matches with the base canvas resolution at the top. Uh, but yeah, for, for output, make sure that your rescale output matches your output resolution right here. We'll come back to video uh, a little bit later, but um, so yeah, make sure that's, that's matching. So now going down a little bit, this is just going to be for people that are streaming with an encoder of X264 if you don't have an NVIDIA graphics, graphics card. Uh, for everybody that does have an NVIDIA graphics card, just sit tight. We'll get to you in a second. Um, so for X264, rate control is going to be CBR. And for bitrate, it's very, very important. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this website right here, speedtest.net. And you're going to want to go up to settings. And you're going to want to make sure down here your speed is on kilobits per second. And then you're going to go back and you're going to click go. 
And basically what this will do, it, it'll test your internet. And what we're going to be mainly looking at is your upload speed. Your upload is what is most important when it comes to streaming. Download, not so much. So let's wait for this to load and see what kind of upload I have. So now that that's done, you can see that my upload speed is 11,966 kilobits per second. Now, some of you might have a um, higher upload and some of you might have a lower upload. Um, it really depends. So for me, this is just as, as an example, I have 11,966. So I'm not going to come here and put 11,966. That's just, you, you don't want to do that. That is your max upload speed. And this is not taking into consideration, you know, what people might have on their phone, uh, you know, internet connected to the phone or um, your video game. So there, there is a lot that comes into play. But since I have 11,966 kilobits per second, my bit rate is going to be roughly about 5,000. If you have over 10,000 kilobits per second, I personally recommend streaming at 5,000 bit rate on YouTube. Now, if you're on Twitch, that's a completely different story. Twitch only allows 3,500. Um, so that, that's the max for Twitch, but for YouTube, you can stream at whatever bitrate you'd like. But for me, I stream at 5,000 with this kind of upload speed. So it's really just a personal preference, but if you had a 5,000 kilobits per second, I would recommend streaming at maybe 1500, uh, bit rate. Um, but really just mess around with it. That's something you kind of just have to see for yourself and to see what works best with your network and, and with your computer. Hey guys, so I just wanted to interrupt really quick. I completely forgot to include this in the video. I just realized as I was editing that I, this is like one of the most important parts about bitrate. I must have had a brain fart. Um, but basically, I'll, I'll put a link to this in the, in the description. This site right here, this page, will tell you by based on your bitrate, what quality you will be able to stream at. So as I was saying before, I'm able to stream with 5,000 kilobits per second um, as my bitrate. So I'm able to stream, as you can see, and if you click on 1080p at 60 frames per second, my video bitrate range is 4,500 to 9,000 kilobytes per second. So 5,000 is, you know, a little, is right there. It's in between. Um, so as you go down, you'll see it starts going lower video bitrate range for just 1080p without 60 frames per second, 3,000 to 6,000, 720p, 60 frames per second, second 2,250 to 6,000, 720p, 1,500 to 4,000, 480p, 500 to 2,000 kilobits, and then it, it just keeps going down. So um, I just wanted to show you guys this. This is the most important thing. So when looking at your bit, bit rate, click the link in the description. It'll take you to this page and figure out what quality you can stream at. And from there, go to your output resolution and change it to 720p or 1080p, whatever you're going to be streaming at. All right, guys, back to the video. Use custom buffer size should not be checked. Keyframe interval, you're going to want to change that to two. And then CPU usage is also very, very important. So now depending on how good your CPU is, um, is going to depend on, on what you're going to click here. Now, if you have a really good CPU, I recommend between these three options, very fast, faster, and fast. So the lower you go, the higher quality the, the picture is going to look. Now, very few people can actually stream on placebo. That's just insane. Um, but yeah, I recommend between very fast, faster, and fast. If you're struggling a little bit in your CPU, you notice your CPU just, not, you're not getting great frames or you're seeing coding, uh, an error saying encoding overloading on your, on your stream. Um, you're going to want to probably click super fast or ultra fast just to kind of lower the, the intensity on your CPU. Now for me, my PC specs um, are in the description, uh, but for me, very fast and faster work great for me um, if I'm using the X264 encoder. Profile, you can switch to main and tune, you can switch to none, doesn't really matter. Um, and that's about it for this section. Now, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, like I said before, your encoder is going to want to be this, the H.264. And I'm going to run through these settings with you very briefly. So enforce streaming service encoder settings, not going to be checked. Rescale output, the same thing as I said before. The rescale output has to match the output resolution over here. And you're going to go down here. Rate control is going to be CBR. Bit rate, I'm going to change that to 5,000. Um, if you skipped over the part that I just went over, rewind a little bit. I explain what uh, bit rate you should be using for your uh, network. Keyframe interval, you're going to change to 2. Preset, you're going to want to have it default. Profile, main, level, audio. Use 2 pass encoding checked. GPU, you're going to want to keep it 0. And B frames, you're going to want to keep it 2. And that's about it. After that, whether you're on H.264 or X.264, uh, doesn't really matter. You're going to want to come over to video. 
And um, I went over this before, 1920 by 1080, if that's your monitor resolution, output scaled resolution matches your rescale output. And then the downscale filtering, there's going to be three different options depending on the quality of your computer. You can choose the, um, I think there's eight samples, 16 samples, or 32 samples. I stream at 32 samples because my um, computer is, you know, higher end, but you can stream at 16 and you wouldn't notice too much of a difference. If you have to, you can go to eight, but you will notice some blurriness. To stream at 60 frames per second, all you'll do is switch this to 60. Um, or if you want to stream at 30 frames per second, you just change it to 30 and then you're good to go. After that, just click apply, click OK, and you're ready to go. And that's the, those are the settings that I stream on. So um, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. I promise you I will answer you within 24 hours. Um, and that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I helped you guys. And I will see you in the next stream or video. All right, take care.